My name is Ugochi, from a royal kingdom in Africa known as Zanzibar. And this is my story. Sixteen years ago, the paramount ruler of my kingdom decided to get a wife for his young son, the prince, who is also the heir apparent of the royal kingdom of Zanzibar. It is in our tradition that good female dancers have more advantage when it comes to getting married to a wealthy husband. All the single women in that kingdom has been advised to get ready for the dance, which must take place in the king's palace. I danced elegantly for the prince because I loved him. My passionate dance was very brilliant, dynamic and entertaining. I thought I could keep on dancing, but the beautiful baby in my womb could not let me move freely. But all the same, I am happy that I danced to impress my prince, the father of my unborn child. Interpreting our dance in a pure African perspective, Young women without waist beads dancing seductively can only be virgins. When you truly dance without a waist beat, you dance yourself free because you are pure and have nothing to hide. But in this scenery, neither myself, Adam Man nor Neka can boast to be virgins. Yet we do not wear the beads. But how can you define a virgin who do not wish to wear a waist beat? My greatest regret is that I have refused to tell Adama who stole her waist beat and I paid dearly for it. The you know never wished me well. But finally, after the dance, my worst nightmare became a reality. The prince refused to pick any girl amongst us that danced. That was when I decided to end my life for the second time. It's like Uguchi is pregnant too. But why must it always be her? I don't think I'm going to allow this to happen. No. Never. The other time it was her and the prince. Imagine. At me now. Is a Gucci prettier than me? Bano. I don't think so. And now she is pregnant for only God knows who. Let it not be that this girl is pregnant for the prince, so... Hi! Mm. In fact, I know what to do. Ugochi must not always win! Huh? No! Never! I 
think I know what to do. Yes. You should be ashamed of yourself. You told us that your husband is a wealthy man. You are here sleeping around with different men. <laughs> what about you? <laughs> your dead child doesn't have a father. At least my daughter has a father. Enough of all these old Francis women. When the prince, the heir apparent, caught me pregnant, I was so scared that I attempted to kill myself. Even though the prince assured me of the king's blessing should I be a male child. But my concern is, if it happens to be a female child, it means I will be banished from the kingdom. If you interrupt me again, I'll have no other choice than to call my lions to feed on your flesh for dinner. I'm so sorry, your highness. Better be, woman, and shut up that your dirty mouth. Woman, what is the problem? Your Highness, my name is Ugochi. I am one of your subjects. I have known Adama for a long time. She's the kind of woman that likes to copy everything I do. Shut up, woman! I don't want this your life story. All I need is the cause of this immediate fight. And do you have witnesses? Your Highness, may your kingdom last forever. We do not have any witness because we live alone together. This woman here, Adama, stole my baby last night. <laughs> this is a very wicked war. Where the rich commits crime and gets away with it. Adama with her domineering spirit neither forgive nor forgets. She can stop at nothing in getting a revenge no matter how long it takes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Please don't let the wicked go unpunished. <laughs> Did you hear what she said? Your Highness, I can't believe you are falling for this fake drama. I know this woman very well. She is a liar. Will you stop accusing this innocent woman? Be very careful. <laughs> your Highness, your offered servant delivered of a beautiful baby girl <laughs> after nine months of pain and agony. <laughs> but she was taken away from me by this woman. <laughs> Please, Your Highness, give me back my child. <laughs> what? <laughs> A heartless world. <laughs> I can feel your pain, my daughter. If you may permit me, I will give you a comprehensive history of this woman. You know that she is a liar. Stop accusing this innocent woman. You see, because of your testimony, I can really not fish out who the real mother of that child is. And because you don't have witnesses, I am left with no other choice than to divide a child into two. God, go get a child for me and my sword. I am going to cut the child into two equal parts. Ibe. Yes, yes, Your Highness. Your Highness, please cut the child into two equal parts. Give Adama the child. <laughs> Let her have a child. When the child grows, she will not have your mother. Please let her have the child. Get up! God, you come will. back. Are you a ruthless woman? Get out of my palace now! Get out! You fool. Idiot. 